I had the chance to test this setup from Indiana. And it's a 1190 front wing high performance. I actually wanted to test the hydro skate to see what the difference is with a smaller board. But due to personal sickness, the Indiana store box closed, but I made a good friend and he took my setup from Gong and I took his setup from Indiana to see the differences. You always have to get used to a new setup, but after some tries, I got it very fine. It's, I think, very agile, but I guess every front wing that is smaller than my 1560 from Gong Cyrus, every front wing will feel more agile. Also, the size of the stabilizer makes quite some difference. But it feels kind of nice. I can't say too much to the mast because I will need to test it on my front wing to see really the difference. It's only 16 millimeters wide instead of mine that is 19. But I also use a much bigger front wing that explains it. Then I guess when we talk about the board, I guess it's more personal preference if you like a volume board or a low volume board. The advantage of a volume board is that it kind of stops in the water. It's usually like upward facing, so it doesn't float that much. And then a board with low volume um, will kind of float a bit more if it's like windy or if there's some current. I guess that's an advantage. I personally prefer a low volume board because it feels a bit more direct and also feels a bit lighter, but I think it's more personal preference. All in all, it was a nice setup. The pumping feels really easy. Um, it's very agile, but I really want to test the Hydro Skate and the 1396 from Indiana to see how they are doing because they are, I guess, a bit closer to my current setup with the Gong Cyrus M 1560. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for subscribing, watching, commenting. Have a great day. May the foil be with you always.